Why would you want to see that? Oh man, this episode picked up and I like it. What's up, Jabroni Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Today we are hopping into episode. I don't know. Is it episode one? Is it episode two? Is it episode three? Who the hell knows? Um, I think it's episode two because the Christmas invasion, I think, is a separate whole thing. But whatever episode this is, we're hopping in here. It's called Tooth and Claw. Uh, I don't know what it's about. As always, if you like what I do here, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon for the full reaction. If you want the next episode early, you can head over there as well. Uh, for one dollar, you can get this one and full reaction uncut, unedited over there on Patreon. Check it out if you want to. I believe there's got to be one free one. Probably like the first episode is free over there if you want to see how it is. Um, last episode was New Earth. Some interesting things happened in that. You guys talked about like Telling me that you guys, I got to give David Tennis some time. He'll grow on me. He'll grow on me. Let's find out if he grows on me. Um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say, so let's hop into this episode. Pretty much here we go. What is happening right now? Am I on the right show? Is this like a bad TV? Is this a bad, uh, are we watching a bad movie? I'm thinking Doctor Who's watching a bad movie. Yeah, it's a bad movie. There's no way this is Doctor Who. I'm guessing we're watching some cheesy old bad movie on the show. Father, Wait, me. is what this is really Doctor Who? May God forgive me. <laughs> no way. Dude, that was horrible. That was awful. What the bloody hell was that? What was up with the, all the monks and the Kung Fu and... Oh no, what is this? Have I stumbled upon one of the worst? been chasing this this wee naked child over <laughs> hill and over dale isn't that right yeah timorous beastie <laughs> oh guy okay. i've been boot in a boot <laughs> no don't do that <laughs> Ooh, come on. no really don't really. <laughs> well, you're... hey that, that looks like the same guy from game of thrones the one when danny's like bring me my dragons that episode the guy that stole them the her dragons burn him alive. Her baby dragons, because they're still small. You might disapprove, Your Majesty. Stargazing. Isn't that a bit fanciful? You could easily not be amused or something. Mm. Is this just going to be what she does the entire... I mean... This device surveys the infinite work of God and talks some more of this wolf. After all... Oh, that's what it is. Oh, Tooth and Claw. It's werewolves. They're werewolves. So that's what it is. Because the thing in the cage was a human, or appeared to be human, kind of half human. But there's legends of werewolves in these hills, and you've heard them. We've mentioned that a couple times. Don't understand what the kung fu weird intro was about, but whatever. I don't know, man. Going well, back in time, I feel like it's very dangerous, and they go and do it in these weird time periods where things can just go very badly. He's called the doctor. He'll know what to do. Come I don't know, man. Rose should already know this. She should know the fact, like, hey, you wait in the closet. I'll go get my friend. Because if anybody sees you outside, they're going to assume that, you know, they're going to know that you they didn't catch you. Oh, miss. I didn't warn you. I mean, I, this isn't even the biggest okay. problem to me. Don't think you must be and, yeah, because you're a moron, Rose. Sometimes you do things that I don't understand. In a cage. He's a prisoner. He's the same as us. He's nothing like us. That creature is not mortal. <laughs> Dear Jesus. Once in a generation, a boy will vanish from his homestead. Oh, okay. See, now I'm getting intrigued. This stuff is interesting. Backstory for that. What are you doing? Oh yes, Doctor. Drawings and wood carvings. And it's not merely a wolf. Why it's is the guy letting them say this now? And they couldn't say it earlier. This is a man or he couldn't say it earlier. An animal. But not a basic werewolf, really. Because he said transform into... Look. Inside your eyes, you've seen it too. Say more. The wolf, there is something of the wolf about you. <clears throat> Moonlight. 
Man, he is creepy looking, bro. Oh, is it an actual werewolf? Is he taking off his face? Let's take off his clothes. The fuck was moving? Damn. Oh. Oh, okay. Not bad. Not bad with the transforming there. Okay, that's not great, but that. Just pop him in the head. That's not bad, actually. For now, we're free. It's a werewolf. <laughs> Guessing the doctor's never seen one of these. I'm thinking he could break that duck. You a beast. I'm assuming he's part werewolf or something, so he's not gonna be. He needs like silver bullets or whatever the hell. Alright. That's actually pretty spooky. I dig it. Done. And you're dead. Bye. I'm telling you, come upstairs. I'm telling you, sir. I will sleep well tonight with that thing's hide upon my wall. Spec you, but you're gonna die. It must have crawled away to death. When death is a coming, it's time to grab some pots and pans and go out. Oh, damn. Man, the special effects on that werewolf aren't bad. They are not bad at all, especially for what year is this? 2006? Holy shit. Not bad for a TV show? Crazy? What's happening? Do they know who I am? Yes. What, what's on there? Why are they wearing like reefs? A biting. Now stop this talk. Run. Is that it? You got any silver bullets? Not on me, no. Oh, yeah, then we run. Your Majesty has a doctor. I recommend a vigorous jog. <laughs> This episode picked up in a good way. Very good way. Don't 100% understand the werewolf and why it wants the queen. And why? It, I mean, he said he wants to bite her so that she can become one. Oh man, you're not dead, bro? I mean, are you buying this time? I mean, I guess he's gonna eat you. Why would you want to see that? Oh man, this episode picked up and I like it. This <laughs> album, the oil of the mistletoe, has been worked into the wood like a varnish. How clever was your dad? I love him. <laughs> Powerful stuff, mistletoe, bursting with lectins and viscose. <coughs> the wolf's allergic to it. Oh, it thinks it is. The monkey monk monks need a way of controlling the wolf. Maybe they trained it to react against certain things. <laughs> I mean, I guess if your father covered the entire room in that stuff, then I guess the book would be in here. It's nothing. Holy hell, giant ass. What, a diamond? Obviously. He is so different than the other doctor. But what if there's a trap inside the trap? Explain yourself, doctor. What if his father and your husband were just telling each other stories? They dared to imagine all this was true, and they planned against it, laying the real trap not for you, but for the wolf. <laughs> Now I can't get out, right? Hey, what? How did it get out? I'm s that doesn't make any sense. I mean, it didn't hurt it at all. I mean, it kind of burned him a little bit. No, Mr. Toad, these doors, because your father wanted the wolf to get inside. I just need time. Is there any way of barricading this? Do your work, and I'll defend it. If we can bind them shut with rope or something. I said I'll find your time, sir. What the hell? Is this to block the moon? I'm guessing this to block the moon. You know? I committed treason for you. But now my wife will remember me with honor. Respect, bro. Respect you. I feel about this, but okay. An alien. It's a legitimate alien. I know that. Make it brighter. Let me go. Is 
was happening. Let me see. It is nothing. And we're just gonna believe her. Okay. State, I dump the Sir Doctor of Tardis. By the power invested in me by the church and the state, I dub the Dame Rose of the Powell Estate. You may stand. We're just gonna avoid the fact that she might have been bit or might not have been bit. What will you do? Will you stay here? I don't think I could. I'd sell it or pull this place down. I buy it off of you. Wait, what? Although we may not speak of these events in public. What did that say? I propose an institute ah. to investigate these strange happenings and to fight them. I would call it Torchwood. The Torchwood Institute. And if this doctor should return, then he should beware. Because Torchwood will be waiting. Um, alright. <clears throat> well, that was episode whatever episode this is, Tooth and Claw. I don't know how I feel about this episode. Emma. So you have to understand that when I, the other, I rated a lot of the episodes from season one, maybe not a couple of them, really high, right? So I can't judge the episode based on that. I have to judge it based on how I feel and of the new rating system. And the new rating systems, <clears throat> the way that they work on Patreon is, let's see if I can find it here, is, um, so this is a six. That was all right, more good than bad. Solid episode had some really good moments as a seven. So the way I feel, <clears throat> the way I feel is that it's somewhere in between a six and a seven. That's what I feel right now. Because there was just things that I mean, it was just not, I don't know, man. It was weird and executed not well. And then the ending was okay. The doctor just kind of let go of the whole being a werewolf thing way too easily. I don't know. I'm going to give it like around a seven-ish, six-ish range. But let's go through the episode and let's see what we have here. Um, so, my God, this had to be one of the worst intros I have ever seen. Oh, look, this guy is also from Game of Thrones, too. And yeah, these guys from Game of Thrones, too. These guys, yeah, both are. Um... Man, that intro was awful, man. I'm sorry. This whole monk bullshit. What? What is this? With the kung fu and the shaky cam. Like, what is that? That was not executed well. That put a sour note in the first two minutes. I was just soured. Like, I was like, no, no, no. Then we get here, and it's becoming kind of slapstick again. We're in here. We're just... We're just slapstick now, or like not slapstick. I don't know. We're just we're just acting weird. Like it doesn't feel like the doctor or anything. It just it's very weird. Then we get here, and I'm still not invested. They're goofing around. They're clowning. They have guns pointed at them. And I get it. The doctors bailed them out of worse situations, but I don't know, man. Rose is over here just kind of goofing about. Oh my god, he's from Game of Thrones, right? Like the name of those. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about this doctor and this rose right now because they're so goofy goofy on everything. Like even later on, they were goofy goofy, and I didn't like I didn't appreciate that either. Um, so we go through here. We get they get to they get to the thing. He gives them the uh, Queen Victoria or whatever uh, an excuse. Um, tries to t get him to leave and uh, without saying it. We find this random telescope. The doctor's like obsessed with it, but he's also criticizing it and being mean, which is kind of like the thing that they have now <clears throat> where the doctor's just a mean, he's just mean. <laughs> and Rose has to kind of keep him down, which I appreciate that. But he's so different than the other doctor. Um, then we have this. We're making these reef things or whatever. We, put, we poison the guards. They pass out. So this was just dumb. Like, this is like ultimate dumb Rose. Like, I don't get it. Lady's telling you what she said, that what's happening, right? It, it took everybody but her. 
right? In her and Rose's mind, she's like, you know what we should do? Trans you down the hallway. You know, they won't find it weird that the, a maid is here. Let's prance you down a hallway. No, Rose. You say, hide back in the closet. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my friend. Bam. The end. We move on. But no, they get caught. <laughs> Rose being Rose, being an idiot. I like the way that the guy was telling the story and that they were like interbalancing the werewolf and everything back and forth in this scene. I appreciated all that. <clears throat> and... I like when Rose started talking to it. And so she made it, Rose assumed there was like a, some sort of alien. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if that was answered, if it was an alien. Maybe that was answered and I just kind of might have not heard it. Um, but we kind of move on from there. I like the whole, he, he's a very creepy looking, very, like eyes are crazy. Um, I like the way that the doctor figured it out. That was really well done. And I thought the um the transformation actually was pretty decent too. I thought it was actually pretty good. Especially for the time or the time period. So one thing I didn't understand, right? Are we meant to are we supposed to believe that this guy's dead? Did he die here? Cause he didn't seem like he was scared of whatever was about to happen, but did he die here? I guess we're meant to we're supposed to because then the, the, we see the queen later and she's acting weird. I thought the once they started introducing the, the werewolf in the house and all that, I thought that was all really, really good. The doctor, the women, the shooting, I thought the execution of all of it was really good. Like the way that they looked on the hallway, I enjoyed all of it, right? Now, I don't 100% understand why he didn't attack them. I don't get it. My only explanation that I can just justify it, that there was that reef stuff was here and he left. You know what I mean? Like, that's all I can think of. He bailed because of the reefs. But that's all I got. Um, We got some decent stuff. I like this guy. The way he, this whole scene, I like that he died. That was an awesome shot. If I can find that shot. When the, um, where is it? Is it here? There's an awesome shot with, like, yeah, right here. It's a really cool shot. Get it. Yeah, this shot on the other side. This is a really, really good shot. This would be like an awesome ass poster, I think. Like, a, it's, it's a cool looking thing. I mean, better res or whatever, but just a cool. I like the way they did it. We find out about the reefs. Kinda. The doctor just sees the reefs on the walls, and he's like, "Ooh, the reefs!" And then he licks the wood, and I guess the reef is in the walls or whatever of the doors. Or um, Rose, this is this is a part where I like really dislike Rose. She literally wasn't. They, they they had a cool execution, right? Of Rose standing in the goddamn hallway, right, right here, watching somebody be mauled to death by essentially a werewolf, right? And her next scene is her joking around about it being a werewolf. And I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. It just, it didn't feel like, how would she, how can she go from the way she looked in that moment to goofing around? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just, maybe, I mean, maybe some people can do that or whatever. I just, it's, didn't feel like it was established that that was Rose. Um... I, mean, I don't know if that's when she did the amuse thing again, but she did the amuse thing several times. And it was fine the first couple, but she was doing it in moments that didn't make any sense. People had died, and she's, like, trying to make these jokes. And it'd be different if Ro that's how Rose handles that kind of stuff. Like, if she's the type that handles, um, the kind of like, stress or pressure in that way, but that's not established. So it didn't feel like Rose. Um, then we have this thing with the diamond, which I don't know what diamond that is. So they talk about the diamond. Um, this scene, the werewolf comes into the room, right? But then he touches the door. What? 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 I thought the whole point was he couldn't get in there. Then he touches the door. Um, I like this guy's whole scenario and him. The whole treason thing and him trying to be like stand up to it and yeah he ultimately dies in a very gruesome fashion the world was like legitimately it was gruesome when he was killed 
Um, then the crystal diamond thingy was fine. I mean, I guess that the husband made this because he knew that this day would come, maybe. The doctor kind of just skid the diamond here. And then, yeah, this scene. I don't get it. She's looking at it like he's happy. Oh, yes. Like, she's happy. She's aware. Like, she got, like, she knew what it was. Like, she knew that she was infected with something. Not like somebody that just saw a scratch and was trying to, like, be proud about the scratch. And then the doctor kind of just accepts it. And then we move on to goofing, goofing, happy, happy. And then they mention Torchwood again, which is, a, I think, Torchwood is, Torchwood is the spinoff. We mentioned Torchwood like in episode one, or the Christmas Invasion was also mentioned. I don't know what Torchwood is. I mean, they say it's an agency. So is the Torchwood spinoff a show about hunting the Doctor? Um, but yeah, that's my reaction. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, not as positive as I wanted it to be, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Patreon gets you episodes early. I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.